Happy Monday, guys. I'm back with some Monday motivation. So, today we are going to talk first about peak week because it just so happens to be my peak week. And there's my cat. She's so annoying. Um, <laughs> it's peak week and I really just want to throw out some positive, happy, motivating vibes for all my girls who are competing this week, who are competing next week, who are watching this a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, motivation for peak week. Here we go. Um, so you've committed, actually just a little disclaimer for people who do not compete. I obviously have a crossover to real life situations. So keep watching. It's not just for peak week. It's for all of life. But the beginning is mostly all about peak week. So anyway, moving on. Um, so I just wanted to say, once you've committed to a goal, you made a plan, you set a goal, and you did it. You're here. You're almost, almost there. You are a week away. You're a couple days away. And now you're thinking to yourself, holy shit, I can't believe that I'm here. I can't believe I did this. I can't believe that I have gotten this far. And you're freaking out. And you just need some motivation. Well, look, look at how far you have come. Look at where you are now and where you were when you began. I mean, just take a second to think about that and never, ever, ever lose sight of that. And that is in life in general. Like, if you are somewhere this year, for instance, if you um, have a job. Lemon, no! Excuse me. <laughs> if you have a job that you, I don't know, you don't hate it, but you don't love it, but you're there, okay? So think back to this time last year. How did you feel? How did you feel then? Were you still in the same feeling? Did you hate it? Did you love it? Okay, so if you hated it then, and it's okay now, that's a little progression. If you were, if you loved it then, but now it's just okay, well, you're taking steps back. You're going backwards, and you really need to seek out something that's better. Even just a tiny bit of decrease of happiness, assess and get it out. You always want to be on this high level of happiness. Screw a little bit below. Screw just, oh, it's okay. I'll deal with it. No, screw that. Get what you deserve and don't settle. Okay. And now I'm like going off into the don't settle thing because it just makes me mad how many people are just sitting in life and just chilling and just think that, you know, that's just how life is supposed to be. So I'll just keep on doing this. No. If you loved your job last year and you semi just kind of like it a little, look for something else, okay? Move on. If you hated your job or if you loved, let's see, if you were okay, sorry, if you're okay about it last year and you're still just okay about it this year, guess what? Find another job. Move on. Get something that makes you happy, something that just makes you want to be alive and to just be free and go to work and be happy. And I know it sounds cheesy and I'm always, always going to say that. I don't care if it sounds cheesy because it's true. If you're not happy, then change it today. Okay. So back to peak week. If um, you're feeling down, look at how far you've come. Just look at your progress. Look at what you did. You said, I'm going to do a fitness competition. You freaking, you either hired a coach or you started dieting and started working out and you did it. And here you are 12 weeks, 16 weeks, 20 weeks, years. I mean, I don't know how long your prep was, but here you are and you are about to hit that stage Saturday, this week or Friday, whatever. Sorry if I'm yelling. I'm just super excited. Um, <laughs> you're going to hit the stage and I'm so excited for you. And you need to be excited too. Look at how far you've come. So here's what I want to say. Peak week is not a time to stress. It's not a time to reflect or not reflect, but it's not a time to um, be down on yourself or any in any single way bring stress to yourself. You need to get within your head and be like, 
chill, relax, because I guarantee you when you hit the stage on Saturday, the judges will be able to tell if you were stress-free or if you had stress because guess what? Stress makes you hold on to water and we don't want that. What do we do all peak week? Try to lose water and here you are stressing, just making it worse for yourself. Don't do it. Just chill, relax. Also, actually I'm going to I'm going to mention this in the other in my other peak week video. This is not the time for you to do 500,000 minutes of cardio and try to get your body to where it needs to be for the show. You need to be ready before peak week. This is not the time to rush and, you know, rush into a show. If you're not ready, you're not ready. Like, pick another show. There are so many shows. Don't put that stress in your body. Don't put that stress on your life. If you're not ready, pick another show. <laughs> Back to the real life situation. If you need motivation you really 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 just need to get within your head and reflect on how far you've come in life cut out anything that's negative do every single thing in your nature in your soul to just be positive and be happy and carry that along the weeks today's memorial day so you have the day off did you were you productive I know by the time you guys see this, it'll be nighttime. Did you do something productive or did you have a nice relaxing rest day? Sometimes a rest day is productive. Sometimes a rest day is exactly what you need because I know people that go to the gym every single day, morning, night, every single day and never give their body a rest. Sit down, chill. And then for real life, non-fitness crazy people, maybe you've just been crazy, going crazy at work. Relax. Have a relaxing day. Did you have a relaxing day or did you do work all day again on your day off? Hmm. I hope that you had a just amazing relaxing day. Maybe at the beach, maybe chilling, um, you know, just at a pool somewhere. Give yourself me time. Relax. Chill. So I guess the topic for this video is peak week dash relax dash self-reflect <laughs> and I hope that you guys find this motivating because I'm super motivated I'm super happy I'm I'm happy with where I am but I'm not perfect and I'm really really working on that there are some aspects of my life that um, you know are different than last year like I was saying that I would like to improve for this year so I always try to make a point to look back at this time last year where was I and am I better than that? And if I'm not, then I need to work on it. And that's what I really want to work on doing. And that's what I want to pass to you guys. Reflect and fix. And don't settle, okay? Happy Motivational Monday. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Memorial Day. And if you like these, definitely like, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned for my show this Saturday.